Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of the Trinosphere where Timmy, Johnny, and Spike battle over all things EDH. On this episode we have a Simic Precon deck tech with me, Adam, the Johnny of the group. This is going to be a Simic Guild Kit upgrade. So we're taking the Simic Guild Kit that came out with Ravnica Allegiance and we are using every card in the deck and adding cards to the deck to make it a viable EDH deck. Each card that we add is going to be under a dollar. For this deck tech, we are going to be using a perfect Simic Commander, which is Momervig Simic Visionary. Whenever you cast a green spell, you can tutor for a creature and put it on top of your library. Whenever you cast a blue creature spell, you reveal the top card of your library. If it's a creature, you put it into your hand. So anytime you play a Simic creature spell, you tutor it and put it directly into your hand, which is fantastic because we are going to be looking for some very specific pieces to win with this deck. So the point of this deck is to win with Simic Ascendancy. And so Simic Ascendancy has a few abilities. It's a blue and a green for an enchantment that has the ability of one, a green, and a blue. Put a plus one, plus one counter on target creature. Whenever one or more plus one, plus one counters are put on a creature, put that many growth counters on Simic Ascendancy. And at the beginning of your upkeep, if Simic Ascendancy has 20 or more growth counters on it, you win the game. In order to do that, we are going to use two main combos. The first combo is Argothian Elder, Horseshoe Crab, and Experiment Crotch. This combo basically allows us to get infinite mana, which we can use with Simic Ascendancy in order to activate over and over again to put as many plus one plus one counters as we want, getting the growth counters that we need, and allowing us to win the game. Experiment Kraj being the key piece to this says that it gains all activated abilities of all creatures with plus one plus one counters that you control. So if we place a plus one plus one counter on Argothian Elder and one on Horseshoe Crab, then Experiment Kraj will gain their activated abilities. Argothian Elder says tap it to untap two lands. Horseshoe Crab says pay one blue to untap Horseshoe Crab. So if Experiment Kraj has all of these abilities, then it can tap itself in order to untap a blue mana source and any other color mana source, allowing you to then pay the blue mana source into the Horseshoe Crab ability and untap Experiment Kraj. Repeat that over and over again until you have all the mana that you need to pour into Simic Ascendancy and get as many plus one plus one counters as you need. The second combo is effectively Experiment Kraj, Gyre Engineer, and Leech Bonder. If Experiment Kraj is out and Leech Bonder and Gyre Engineer both have plus one plus one counters on it, then Experiment Kraj has the abilities of tap to add green and a blue to your mana pool and pay a blue and untap to move any counter from a creature to another creature. So Experiment Kraj will then, with any other creature that has a plus one plus one counter on it, be able to tap, make a blue and a green, use the blue to untap itself, allowing you to move a counter. If you were to use a Benthic Biomancer or a Fathom Mage, you can move counters infinitely onto and off of those and effectively draw your entire deck. So if you don't even have Simic Ascendancy out yet, you'll be able to draw into it, and then you'll be able to cast it. You're putting plus one, plus one counters on things and moving them back and forth. Every time you move them back and forth, Simic Ascendancy triggers, and you can win the game on your next upkeep. Since we have such a high concentration of things that care about plus one, plus one counters, we have a lot of cards that put plus one, plus one counters on things, 
care about plus one plus one counters in general and benefit your team by using plus one plus one counters we also have a high concentration of creatures because with every creature that we cast if momer vig is out it allows us to go searching for one of these other key creatures because all of our combo pieces are creatures in this deck with the plus one plus one counters matters i tried to center my thought on making passive plus one plus one counters a thing Dirt Coil Worm, Forgotten Ancient, Lore Scale Quaddle, Loyal Guardian, Orin Reef Hydra, Ravenous Slime, Scoot Mob, Undergrowth Champion, Vine Lasher, Kudzu, and Witch Stalker all basically put plus one plus one counters on themselves and or other creatures for things that you're already doing or that your opponents are already doing. In addition to that, we have ways of taking advantage of the plus one plus one counters on things outside of our combos. So we have cards like Herald of Secret Streams, Crown Saratok, and Zagana Utopian Speaker that grant other abilities to the creatures that have plus one plus one counters on them. In addition to those, we have Applied Biomancy, Bounder of, Bounty of the Hunt, Cloudfin Raptor, Cytoplast Rootkin, Elusive Crassus, all either adding plus one plus one counters or gaining plus one plus one counters themselves, Galloping Lizrog, Ivy Lane Denizen, Nimbus Swimmer, Phantom Nantuko, Plascaster Frogling, we also have Ridge Scale Tusker, Scrounging Bandar, Simic Guild Mage, Simic Manipulator, Skitter Eel, Song of Frailies, Trollbred Guardian, Verderous Gear Hulk, Voral of the Hulklade, Whiptail Hydra, Wild Onslaught, Zamic Guildmaid. All of these either move plus one plus one counters from one thing or another, or add plus one plus one counters to themselves and or other creatures. Some very important pieces are things like Verderous Gear Hulk that allows us to put plus one plus one counters on many things. Bounty of the Hunt that can come out of nowhere at instant speed without even having the mana in your hand to add three plus one plus one counters. With all the plus one plus one counters that we have flying around, Song of Freilis is going to allow us to have a clock to when we're potentially going to win the game because it's going to buff our entire team, make them indestructible, give them vigilance so that we can swing in. It's a very, very strong card here. For our other categories, we have Removal, Draw, and Ramp. Let's start with Removal. So in Removal, we have Applied Biomancy, that comes with the deck, uh, Frilled Mystic, and Mystic Snake, which allow us to counter things. Void Slime is also in the deck, which is fantastic value, allowing us to counter things. Then for a little bit of more spot removal, we have Incubation Incongruity. So Incongruity is going to be able to destroy something. Rapid Hybridization and Trigon Predator, which Trigon Predator with a few plus one plus one counters on it really does a lot of work to killing the artifacts and enchantments and having a form of evasion. Fantastic creature. And then we have Whip Tongue Hydra, which allows us to destroy any flyers that might be coming at us, as well as, unfortunately, any that we have. But we don't have a whole lot of flyers in this deck, so we're not really afraid of that. For our draw, we added a Blighted Cataract. It's a cheap card. It basically just is a land anyway, so it's not a whole lot of harm putting it into a deck like this when you see the mana base. Even though this is a colorless mana source, it's really going to gonna be just fine. Coiling Oracle came in the deck which is fantastic. Fathom Mage, as we discussed with the combos, can get really insane. Even just exiling a green card from your hand, casting Bounty of the Hunt, it allows you to draw three cards by putting them on Fathom Mage. Guardian Project turns every creature spell into a draw. Benthic Biomancer, as we discussed. Inspiring Call, both saving your team in combat as well as drawing cards for most of them and urban evolution. Our ramp is fairly basic in this because we don't have a whole lot of giant things that we need to get out except for experiment Carrage, which is only six mana so it's really not even that bad. But we have Blighted Woodland, Gyre Engineer, and Argothian Elder as we discussed in the combos, Gyre Sage, Rishkar Pima Renegade, Simic Signet, and the first two turns of Song of Freilis. So Rishkar Pima Renegade is particularly useful here because not only does it allow you to turn two other creatures or two creatures total into mana dorks, it also helps with 
all of the rest of your creatures that already have plus one plus one counters on it. It also triggers Simic Ascendancy, which is fantastic. Some other cards that were just in the deck that I couldn't really do a whole lot about, they're not bad cards. They are in there, and they don't really fit into the, any of the categories that I was working with, are Miming Slime, Omnibian, Progenitor Mimic, and Simic Sky Swallower. So all of which are fairly powerful cards on their own, but they're not really driving toward the strategy that we're going for here. So with the lands, we have Bant Panorama, Blighted Cataract, Blighted Woodland, Evolving Wilds, a handful of forests, a handful of islands, Simic Growth Chamber, Simic Guildgate, and Temple of the False God. In addition to that, we also added a Novagen Heart of Progress, just to add more plus one plus one counters to the whole thing, and that is pretty much it. When you check out the actual gameplay for this, I think you'll really enjoy a lot of what it can do. It really does, for, for a cheap deck, this thing really gets going and presents a formidable board state pretty early on if you, if you keep the right hands. Uh, I really enjoyed playing this. Tell me what things you would have added to this deck. Uh, remember, we were trying to keep it on a budget, but hey, if you've got some ideas for upgrades outside of the budget, let us know, comment, uh, and make sure to hit that subscribe button. Until then, keep brewing, my friends.